Greetings everyone. Welcome to Apps Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through some slides that will teach you how to use an editor. Although HTML can be created in many ways, it can be done by using a simple text editor like Notepad or TextEdit. First, Sublime is a powerful text editor that helps developers to edit local files and code base. It features various tools that help developers keep track of changes. You can download Sublime Text from its official website www.sublimetext.com. Next in line comes Atom. It is a text editor that built on that's built on top of the Electron desktop platform. It's a great alternative to traditional text editors as it can be used as a standalone program for basic programming. It's also incredibly customizable with thousands of packages to suit all your needs. Next is Visual Studio. It is an integrated development environment IDE from Microsoft. It helps developers develop apps for the web, mobile, desktop and cloud. With this tool, you can create managed code as well as native code. You can also build apps for the Windows Store, Microsoft Silverlight and more. Notepad++ is a free and open source text editor. It's not a huge full-featured IDE, but it's a simple, easy to use text editor. Notepad++ supports several programming languages and is available for Windows, Linux and Mac OS X. Next is an HTML validator. It is a program used to check the validity of HTML markup in a web page. It is a specialized piece of software that can check for syntax and lexical errors. This is because HTML is not compiled and it is forgiving in terms of errors. An HTML validator checks for syntax errors in your code. It passes and tokenizes each line of code to check for open tags, missing delimiters or other required parameters. If these parameters don't have the right values, your web page won't look the same. Next, social coding is a great way for developers to collaborate on projects and share ideas. GitHub is a social network for software developers that provides a web interface to Git, the code repository, and tools for collaboration. People can follow each other, give feedback on each other's work, receive updates about specific projects, and communicate with each other. Now, do you know what browsers to support? Do you worry about your website looking the same in different browsers? Can I Use is an excellent tool that provides the latest browser support information. The site was created by Alexis Deveria and it is maintained by the web development community. W3Schools is an online learning platform for coding. It offers courses on the basics of coding but also more advanced topics. W3Schools have been around for over a decade and was launched for the purpose of teaching people how to code. Its name was derived from the idea of being a website that is accessible worldwide. By offering free and paid courses, W3 schools allow people to learn at their own pace, whether they want to start from scratch or are interested in honing their skills. Hope you like the video and learn something new today. Thank you. Click the subscribe button to stay updated with our recent videos.